All right, guys, today we got an E92 that I'm working on. This is one of my friends. Um, he was kind enough to trust me with his car, and I'm gonna install his OEM downpipes back in for him. He has some aftermarket ones, but we got the OEM ones to install back on the car. This is one side. Place it down slowly, BMW, genuine part, it's OEM. And then, this is the other part. Hopefully not too, too bad. Uh, let's see how it goes. We're gonna start jacking up the car up, and then I take the plastic pieces off that's covering that, and then get to it from there. All right, so you take the plastic pieces out, eight millimeters, there's about 20 of them. So you are exposed to this. Then this is the drive rack. Two bolts here. Um, the top one's a 16. You have to hold it the 16 and then break the bottom one loose. The bottom one is a 3 8. Um, I took it off. Now we got access to that. The V clamp. The bolts are over here loose already. Nothing um, hard. It's just 13 millimeters. The V band's off. That, if you have brackets, you take it off or cats. Um, and then you wiggle this loose. It's like, it's like loose in there, you know? It's gonna be off soon, but I, I, I need both hands so I don't fuck up nothing, you know? Can't be scratching and shit, but the V-band's off, and then next is the other V-band over there. But yeah, make sure you take the drive shaft, the steering rack. Did I say drive shaft earlier too? I'm stupid. Drive shaft's over there. The steering rack, make sure you take the steering rack, two bolts off, and loosen it. Make sure you're not fucking pressuring on the line or nothing, um, tool doesn't get on the line. You, you don't want to scratch these lines, so one, two. You got to hold it from the top. It's a little tricky, but you can do it if you have this. If you need this. It's a 16. You have to have this. Oh, I forgot about the O2 sensors. The O2 sensor right there, it's a 22 and it's a tight fit. If it's very, very tight and it's never been taken care of, taken out, you probably not gonna be able to loosen it, but I loosened it already, so I can just spin it with my hand. Because if you just wiggle that around, this gonna be stretched and probably break the line. But I don't know if I can spin it all the way because the, it's the wire spinning on, each, on top of each other. You know, but if not, then you have to disconnect it from the top, and I'll show that if I have to. All right, second one, um, the V clamp, the bolt is off. Fuck, focus, boom. And then also sensors are. I just left them here so that the front doesn't hit anything. They might go bad, and I didn't touch the front at all. I just left them there, um, and yeah. So you don't really want to touch these too much. Might go bad, they're sensors. So I just have to break that V clamp loose and this is going to come off pretty easy. And then same thing again, but in reverse, but with the OEMs. And they have a beefy fucking cats. So we'll see how that goes. Two O2 sensors on the mid pipe, it's out. This was a VTSF or I, I think that's what it's called, not sure. Not familiar with the brand. One or two sensor goes here, one goes over there. So that's two or two sensors. This is off. I'm not gonna put it in the sun because then you can fucking boil an egg on it in 20 minutes if it stays in the sun. It's fucking crazy out here. I'll give it a wipe and then put it in his trunk so it doesn't make his trunk dirty. Moving on to the second one, a little bit trickier. I mean, a little bit is an understatement, but hopefully it's a little bit trickier. You see that? That clamp needs to be off, and that O2 sensor needs to come off as well. We'll see how it goes. All right, so these are the two exhaust ones that go all the way back, connect to the mid pipe, goes up there, and that connects to the headers, all right? So one of the mid pipes are back on, OEM. Let me see. That's the V clamp. I, it's tight, but I still need to make it a little tighter so it doesn't get loose over time. Um, the V-band's on, perfectly fine. You wiggle it around, it's like on there. You also want to make sure that 
this on the OEM ones. Well, the aftermarket didn't have it. Some, some of them might have it, some of them might not have it. This is a cat. Aftermarket didn't have a cat. It's a catless mid pipe. But this is a, has a cat. So, um, that you want it to be in the bracket. You put that on and you slide it and go to the side and then make it all the way tight. This is right here. He has all the resonators and the cats are deleted, which is gonna make it sound very nice, especially on yeah, you too. Um, but yeah, um, this before you put it on, you spin it the opposite side a couple times. So when you put it on and spin it so many times, it doesn't get tangled up. It's just sitting normal. You see, you don't want it to be tangled up over time. All these wires go bad. Same for these ones. You want to spin it a lot of times and then put it in there. All right, that slides in, this goes back there, put the bolts on, same for this one, and then a little bit easier because that one's a little hard to reach, but V-clamp's gonna be on this side now. We'll see how that goes. Both O2s are in, I would do that one, then that one, but I did that one, then that one, I mean, I think doing that one and then that one is easier, but I mean, that's just preference. I gotta put one of those loose, tighten one of those, tighten that all the way. Um, and what we got left is only um, these bolts for the steering rack. Let's push back there. I pushed over here so we have more access to those. But now that it's done, then we can push it back. And then bolt it up and then they're, they're, they're like nuts they're nuts and bolts on top which is a pain in the fucking ass do that do this if you have a hanger down there do that and all the plastic pieces is after but he already took them off himself so i think he's gonna put it on himself because i don't see it in the trunk um yeah that's it I'm gonna do all that and then take it for a ride, make sure nothing rattles and stuff. Alright, all the lines are tucked away. I just have to zip tie this over here so it doesn't scrape on the bottom or just get thrown away around and stuff. Those are good. Everything's tightened like a motherfucker. Over here, he was missing a bolt. I put it back on. It ha it's, it's an often thing. I mean, it's a common thing. Uh, exhaust bolts gets um, loosened over time, uh, especially with like uh, this car that uh, has makes a lot of power, you know. So um, there's a lot of pressure on these. But yeah, that's all good. Um, he has the cats or over here he has everything like straight piped, but he, he still has the bracket for it. So I mean, over like high speed I would imagine this bracket you hear that it would wiggle around and hit it and it's literally not doing anything it's just up there like it's not even holding these that supposed to screw to something in the bottom and hold these two up but it's all it's already missing a bolt so I'm gonna go ahead and take that off that's so that thing doesn't um, rat, rattle and stuff if it is because he was telling me that something rattles um, so um, I think it might be that it's also could be this but like this again another useless thing over here just because he um, did a straight pipe so whoever straight pipe they should have took, taken these out we're not gonna throw them away we're just gonna take them off because they're not doing anything and they just make it sound but everything else is um, pretty tight I mean very tight so it shouldn't rattle because of that. Anything ra that makes it rattle, it would be these. I haven't driven the car. I'm gonna after, so make sure those, the rattle is gone. Yep, but it's done. So I'm gonna jack it down and go for a test drive after this. Alright, E92 is all good. Blow off, he has a HKS blow off valve, that thing sounds so good. Just 
Shit, loud as fuck. But this thing sounds good. It's straight pipe, but it's not obnoxious loud, and it's not even loud. It's just just right. But look at this. Look at this lineup. All right, comment below which one you like the most. Do you like E36, 3 Series, 1998, or E92, 3 Series, 2008? Or maybe you like a 1 Series guy, 128i. This lineup is cool. Comment down below which one you like the most. I was almost about to buy one of these crashed manual. I was gonna fix it myself, but I didn't wanna like do that as the first project, so I passed on that. But these are all cool cars. Definitely drive different levels of cars, different classes of cars, and different power and um, everything different but they're all the same because they're all BMWs and all about performance so let me know which one you like the most which one is your cup of tea all right E92 was a success all good it's good to go ready to get picked up all right thanks for watching this video maybe more content gonna come soon about like other people's cars and stuff and me installing me installing parts let me know if you like that I'm gonna post like different cars. I'm gonna try to do mo mostly BMWs. That's gonna be cool. But I mean, a lot of my friends got Subarus. I already posted some Subarus. My brother has a Subaru. So yeah. Just let me know if you like like different cars content. I'm just trying to maybe someone doesn't like E36. My page is all E36s, you know. But now I can post other cars. So today was E92. We'll see who. Who's next? Comment down below if you want me to work on your car. Bay Area. Thanks for watching.